Shalom, Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory. It goes to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Brak a thumb to the whole full act. Shalom, Shalom. Today's video is going to be entitled, Now That the Folly is Over, is Back to the Mission at Hand. And uh, this is a video going off of yesterday which was you know the whole super bowl you know here in kansas city you know the chiefs ended up winning if you if you don't know so you know it was, a, it, it was a big deal you know major you know celebration going down in the city but as i did in the last video um that i spoke on you know wings and football is a new bread of circus this this is not the end for us because when you come into the truth you don't have an off season these guys, they 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 play their 18 weeks. They go through the playoffs. They go through their championships. And after that, they go do their vacation time. You know, they go to these islands or these vacation resorts and relax. But us in this truth, our job never stops, man. We don't have an off season. You know, there you should be doing, you know, obviously you're going to give or take for a certain situation, but you should be doing 52 weeks at camp each year. No, no breaks, just straight, straight gas, man. And that's what the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai requires of us. Now, you know, I ain't going to make this into some damn rant going, going into the, the, the folly, the mat, you know, the bread and circus, because I did that in my last video. But, uh, you know, when you when you see teams win championships like that, it, it, it gives, you know, if you look at it spiritually, it gives you self motivation because here you're watching people that have achieved their their life work you know as, as as simple as it may be you know as simple as you know running running a ball across a uh a, 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 across a touchdown line or putting a ball through a hoop that is these those people's lives work they dedicate their life to it they they sacrifice things to achieve that certain uh milestone in life so when you do see them make that you know, you, you 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 get respect for the hustle of just going through that. But you also look at it spiritually and and apply it to yourself. Because the same joy that these men have over simplicity and folly, we are gonna have on a on a ten times greater scale. You know, you see you see grown men cry when they hold the Lombardi trophy or when they hold the Larry O'Brien trophy, grown men cry. You know what I'm saying? They 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 thank the most high. How much more when Lord willing we be elect, we get on those chariots. You know, you gonna think about all the all, all the blood, sweat, and tears and sacrifices and pain that you felt in this in these bodies on this world doing the job that you do. But to be at the top of that mountain and achieve your life work, that's the most important. Is, is, is to finish the work of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Let me get that. Okay, a couple precepts here. This is John chapter 4, verse 34. It says, Yahweh Shai saith unto him, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. And that's, you know, the most important part of being in the truth is to endure until the end. So you may receive your championship moment. You, you may receive your Lombardi trophy moment or Larry Larry O'Brien trophy moment, whatever whatever it may be, you know, like I'm saying, I'm just comparing comparing basic things to spiritual things. But that's the sense of joy and fulfillment we all should strive to have. You know? Like like I said, going into the, the, the damn football shit, that, that inspires me. Just because I like sports and I understand what it takes. But, you know, you got to have your, 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 your inspiration and your fire to, to see, see the end. Blessed is he that liveth to see the downfall of his enemies. You don't want to be around to see the people that, you know, have ostracized you and called you a madman and looked at you crazy on the streets die and, and you live and overcome. That's a beautiful thing. This is the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yashah, man. But this is 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 5. It says, But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of evangelists, make full proof of thy ministry. 
for I am now ready to be offered and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. That's going into the Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul had a hell of a course to go through, man. Once again, here in our situations, you have to find the motivation. You have to find the fire and the will inside of you to, to finish your course. You know what I'm saying? To finish, to finish this race that we are in. And it, it's not given to the swift. It's, it's given to those that they take their time and that are diligent and that run with a purpose. See, you have to, you have to, you have to wage this war, this, this spiritual war. You have to wage this with a purpose. If you just, if you're just waging spiritual war to be seen of men on YouTube, you're not in the right spirit, man. This is, this is all of a matter of overcoming and conquering. You see the same way these niggas get exalted for overcoming a damn 18 game football season in the playoff. We're going to get a greater reward for overcoming the world day in, day out. You know what I'm saying? Overcoming the elements we deal with at camp day in, day out. Overcoming these demons that that try to, uh, you know, afflict us in our mind, body and spirit day in and day out, man. And best believe that that reward is going to be real. Let's go here. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, verse one. It says, but the soul of the righteous are in the hand of the most high and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. Their departure is taken from misery. And from their going, it says, and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. Right. These niggas getting, getting uh, punished on the damn football field, getting beat up, you know, putting their bodies through all kind of, you know, rigorous uh, abuse. Only to receive the glory of a moment because when it comes when it comes to the end of this world nobody's going to remember pat mahomes nobody's going to remember uh kobe bryant lebron james you know whatever it may be no the only people that are going to matter are the elect the ones that have ordained their lives are right to please god please the most high yahweh uh and yahweh shy you see but say wisdom of solomon chapter three Verses four, it says, though they be punished in the sight of men, yet their hope is full of immortality and have been little chastised. They shall be greatly rewarded for the most high proved them and found them worthy of himself. And that that is the ultimate honor and the ultimate blessing one can receive in his life is to be accepted of Yahweh Bashim Shah and to be found worthy of himself, to be found worthy of his salvation. You see, and you 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 got to you got to have your own personal fire. You got to have your own personal motivation to want that, man. You see? Just to precept that. This is Matthew 25 verses 20 he said, "And so he that received five talents and came and brought another five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained thee beside them five talents more." His Lord said unto him, "Well done, thou good and faithful servant." Thou shalt be faithful. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou in the joy of our Lord. And that that's the ultimate compliment you can get in this life, man. Is being called a good, faithful servant by Yahweh by Shem Shah, man. It's not getting the getting a damn MVP trophy. You know, it's not it's not fucking uh 15 bad Instagram models. You know, it's not scamming niggas out of a million dollars. No, the best compliment you can get is being a good and faithful servant by is being called that by your how about Shemiah man. And that's that's what we all strive to do. See, because it's, 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 it's this, this thing is not about man pleasing. It's not about getting men to, to recognize our legacy and, you know, the works that we've done. No, it's about being acceptable in the eyes of the most high. But it says... <coughs> Wisdom of Solomon 3 verse 5 and says, And have being little chastised, thou shalt be greatly rewarded, for the most high proved them and found them worthy for himself. As gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of their visitation they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, 
and the Lord shall reign forever. You see, and that that's one thing that that <laughs> you know, getting these corruptible crowns in this world, it ain't good enough, man. You know, you you can you can dedicate your life to being a ball player or a rapper, but that ain't gonna make you have dominion over the nations. You still got to answer to the so-called white man. So-called white man still signs your checks, man. If you want to declare your heritage on a on, on a national scale, the so-called white man will, will take away everything that you have, man. You don't have no dominion. You see, Pat Pat Mahomes, he he can't come out and 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 and, and speak the the way that we speak because he has too much. Uh, ties to this world and he he doesn't aim to please the most high he aims to please his 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 masters and rulers man but you know that's neither here nor there you know the the, the real you know main point of this lesson is that the greater mission is at hand now that this folly is over with this this damn super bowl and whatever whatever folly comes in the uh in the rest of the year let's remain focused man with that, Lord willingness edifying, all praises, honor, and glory. It goes to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Kwadash, the Blonder City Apostles, the Blonder City Elders of Great Millstone, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Brakatham, Throw Fulek, Shalom, Shalom.